What is this region called? On this axial CT, the arrows point at a region of the right lower lobe lung, which is bounded by the vertebral column, esophagus, and other mediastinal structures. This is the azigoesophageal recess. Now what the heck is the azigoesophageal recess? Well, it's a region that is bounded intermediately by the esophagus, azigous vein, and lepatrium, posteriorly by the vertebral column, inferiorly by the right hemidiaphragm, and superiorly it's continuous with the subcranial space. On frontal chest radiograph, the recess is seen as a vertically oriented interface between the right lower lobe and the adjacent mediastinum, the medial limit of this recess. Superiorly, the interface is seen as a smooth arc with convexity to the left. Disappearance or distortion of part of the interface suggests disease, which we'll get into later. On CT, the recess merits particular attention because small lesions located in the recess will often be invisible on chest radiographs. In terms of pathology here, the differential includes abnormal lymph nodes, hiatal hernia, varices, left atrial enlargement, and bronchial or esophageal masses. Let's get started. This is a case of bad lymphadenopathy. The axial CT of this patient with lymphoma shows extensive mediastinal and hilar lymphadenopathy. A large right parasophageal lymph node produces an abnormal convexity of the azigoesophageal recess. Note the small bilateral pleural fusions and multiple pulmonary nodules. The coronal CT on the right shows marked coalescent mediastinal lymphadenopathy involving subcranial and parasophageal lymph nodes. Next case is a hiatal hernia. The chest x-ray on the right shows a large hiatal hernia showing abnormal convexity and lateral displacement of the lower third of the azigoesophageal recess. There is also a left retrocardiac opacity. Gas within this lesion is consistent with a hiatal hernia. The corresponding axial CT confirms the presence of a parasophageal hiatal hernia, which contains a portion of the stomach. Note the lateral displacement of the inferior aspect of the esophageal recess. Next case is left atrial enlargement. The x-ray on the left shows cardiomegaly, an enlarged cardiac silhouette. There is splaying of the carina noted by the arrow, which is consistent with left atrial dilation. Combined with normal pulmonary vascularity and mild central interstitial edema, these findings suggest left heart failure. The four-chamber SSFP MRI on the right, in the same case, shows left atrial and left ventricular dilation, along with a dephasing jet from mitral regurgitation. This was overall consistent with dilated cardiomyopathy due to... Here is a case of an esophageal mass, cancer. The x-ray on the left shows abnormal convexity of the lower third of the azigoesophageal recess and a left retrocardiac mass-like opacity. This patient presented with severe dysphagia. The axial CT on the right shows a marked circumferential mural thickening of the lower esophagus, producing an abnormal convexity of the azigoesophageal recess. Biopsy confirmed esophageal carcinoma. In contrast to the previous case, this one was benign. Here on the left is a chest x-ray of an esophageal duplication cyst there is a subtle abnormal convexity of the lower third of the azigoesophageal recess. Corresponding axial CT shows an ovoid, water attenuating mass in the visceral mediastinum, abutting the esophagus and consistent with a congenital foregut cyst. In this case, an esophageal duplication cyst was diagnosed, which may be indistinguishable from a bronchogenic cyst on imaging. Our last case is one of varices. The chest x-ray on the left of a patient with alcoholic cirrhosis shows lobulated masses near the gastroesophageal junction with lateral displacement of the azigoesophageal recess. The contour abnormality of the lower azigoesophageal recess is the most common radiographic finding of parasophageal varices. Axial CT shows multiple dilated, enhancing parasophageal varices to the right of the esophagus in the region of the azigoesophageal recess and surrounding the distal esophagus. You now know a ton about the azigoesophageal recess. Please subscribe for more awesome anatomy and radiology videos.